up specialist time to deal with other patients. Question number eight, Jacinda Ardern. Uh, my question is to the Minister of Social Development and Employment and asks, does she agree with the report by the Human Rights Commission released in June entitled Tracking Equality at Work that, quote, unless action is taken urgently, the youth situation will become unsustainable, representing a threat to social cohesion? The Honourable uh, Paula Mr Bennett. Speaker, to date I have found very few reports from the Human Rights Commission that I entirely agree with. Um, I do, however, agree with the report where it states, and I quote, over 3,000 employers, employees and job seekers broadly said they enjoyed their work, cared about the people they worked with, were proud of the services and products they delivered and loved the challenges of working life. For many, work defined them and was a critical aspect of self-identity and self-esteem, not just a paycheck. Supplementary to the Minister. How many young people will move into employment, education or training through the Government's welfare reform for 16 and 17 year olds? And does this figure take into account that roughly 50% of independent youth benefit recipients, the main target of her reforms, are already in education and training? The uh, Mr Bennett. Speaker, um, what the member has an understand about our reforms for that age group is we are actually looking at those that are not in education, employment and training. That's anywhere between 8,500 and 13,500. That was a major part of the announcement that we did where we connect them. A, we change the laws so that we can actually get that information from education and from schools. We then connect those young people through a transition service into a provider that will wrap a service around them and get them into training or education. So the, um, the, the part that the member talks about was a small but significant part, but the bigger part is around those um, up to 13,000 that were not in education or employment. Supplementary to the Minister, what proportion of her 20 to $25 million Brighter Future package will go towards the establishment and administration of the benefit card system, and what proportion will go towards the Youth Transition Service Network, which currently only covers half of all school leavers? Uh, Mr Paula Speaker, Bennett. again the member's kind of got it wrong. So she's lumping everything together into the payment card and for that small number that are on benefit. There are a small number under our package that were on benefit, but a much bigger number that are not on benefit, but are on a fast track there unless we intervene. This side of the House is committed to intervening, to intervening properly and making sure we wrap a service around them that sees those young people connected into something more and more into education and training. For years, Mr Speaker, we have seen one in five young people leaving school under the previous government with actually being financially and uh, illiterate in what they can and what they can take forward, and we are determined to do better by them. Order. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Sorry. Point of order, Point of Mr. order Mr. Jacinda Ardern. Mr Speaker, I understand entirely that there were two parts to the government's package, but we were only given one figure for that package. That's why I explicitly asked the Minister what proportion of the 20 to 25 million the may was for the benefit avoid, card and what proportion the for the repeat, transition service. The member may repeat her question just to make sure there's no mistake. Question again to the Minister. What proportion of her 20 to 25 million Brighter Future package will go towards the establishment and administration of the benefit card system and what proportion will go towards the youth transition service network which currently only covers half of all school leavers? The Honourable A very small proportion. Sorry, I didn't actually hear that. A very small proportion. I thank the Minister. Uh, uh, sorry, point of order. The, the Minister's answer was a very small proportion. But I was I asking of either, of either package. It would be helpful sure if the if Minister indicated to which of the two components uh, her answer refers. Um, Mr Speaker, so what do I want to hear to the my answer? understanding was asking my how order. much... I apologise to the Minister. Now, I've specifically asked the Minister to provide the House with more information, and there's no way it'll hear that information if the Honourable Shane Jones keep up, keeps up such successfully loud interjections. Now, the Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, so the... Point of order, the Honourable Chief Mr Speaker, straight after you admonished one of my colleagues, the senior government whip yelled out to the point where I'm having trouble hearing the Minister who got the mic. Well, I didn't... I, I didn't... I accept... I accept my right ear is, I won't use the language I'd normally use to uh, describe it at the moment, but it is not functioning well. And I, I accept that 
you'll notice it's not got a crink in my neck that I'm listening like this. It's a, this is the only one working. So I warn government members if, uh, if they take advantage of that, I will be, I'll come down on them heavily. But uh, the Honourable Paula Bennett, please uh, Mr. indicate. Mr Speaker, as I was explaining, it's a very small proportion of the 20 to 25 million that's part of that package that would be going to any um, administration. The fundamental part of that package is around the support we give to non-government organisations. We are going to be funding them to work with these young people. We take the current funding under Youth Transition Services and extend that further, and that's what the cost is for. Jacinda Ardern. Does she believe that young people are eager to take up employment opportunities where work exists? If not, how does she explain that in 2008 there were only roughly 200 young people on an unemployment benefit long term, but on her watch that number is now eight times higher? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, and, Mr uh, Speaker, in January 2010 we saw that number at about 23,500 young people on an unemployment benefit. I'm pleased that the member is acknowledging how important it is for those young people because that's now down to less than 16,000. So we have seen over 7,000 actually come off that benefit and into work. Have we got more work to do? Absolutely. But is what we are currently doing working? The proof is in those numbers and the number that are getting into work, Mr Speaker. Speaker. Question number nine, Aaron Gilmore. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is the Minister for Social Development and Employment. Has the government made any recent Order. announcements on Order. the Canterbury Temporary Accommodation Assistance Payment?